Alrighty guys, in today's video, we're going to be looking at the docking point feature for the extended tools panel within TrueCut RD Works. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.ca.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, we head back in the program here. Now, just a quick reminder, this is a mini series on the Extend Tools, which I will leave relevant links to in the description. You can also find the toolbar if it's not located on the top right here by going View and navigate to Extend Tools. And you simply just click on it to have that check bar. So then uh, the next feature we're going to be looking at here is the docking point, like I mentioned in the intro. And it's just a quick overview, it won't be really how to set it up, it's just so that you know what it does and where it's located. So what the docking point will do is, uh, it will allow you to set a new, you can say origin point for your laser, so where it will start and where it will return to when it's done. But keeping in mind you can disable this at any time, or just reset it back to the original origin. Um, yeah, this is a great feature if, uh, like between feature uh, between sessions and so forth, you want to keep it the same, then it will return to the same location. Let's say you're doing mass production of something, and uh, the origin point just makes more sense if it starts by the actual cutting point um, or closer to the busy area or something in that line. Then you can always uh, set up a custom one with your um, docking point. So to locate it, it is like I mentioned on your extend tools bar. And there's a second icon to the right. Well, over there you can see it says docking point. But yeah, otherwise, so just a quick reminder again or recap. So it is basically a point you can set that your machine will start at and return to when it's done. And uh, you can have a customer setup, which is convenient. Otherwise, we head here to softwaretraining.co.za. You guys will notice we make a variety of different software training videos and also you can isolate your search on the top right if you do not however find what you're looking for just go here request training video fill in the mini form and then we will make that video for you but otherwise thanks guys for watching and cheers